here's a lower thermostat with the problem I can go through here and set the temperature from 110 all the way up to 170 and it never kicks on and it's got power here to the black terminal and the blue terminal this is a lower thermostat and this is hot this is the switched if I take that and take a uh, jumper here I've got power to the thermostat. I've got some Christmas tree bulbs in series. Here's my poor man's 240 volt uh, pilot light. And the odd thing I noticed here before, if I go through and turn off this flashlight here, if I go through and tap this it'll come on for a second and go off and that's been explaining what's going on here that's a brand new thermostat I have brand new we put in last summer but I'm gonna turn this all the way down if it was good I should be able to turn this way up to 170 and go in here and it kicks on and what's happening here is the thermostat screwed up brand new thermostat intermittent which even drives you crazy that's the way this one works you got power here to the top it's always on that noise you hear is a uh, that's my buddy's uh, that's his uh, the cabin here that's the timer on this thing this is the upper thermostat it kicks on first and when it's heated up it gives control to the lower one here and right now we've got power down here but we won't kick on because the thermostat's bad okay here's a post-mortem on the dead thermostat there's a slug in here probably plastic it looks like it's all seized up on its bore and before I show the diagram the way it works is there's a bimetallic strip here about the size of a quarter it's got two materials so when it gets hot it clicks one way that sits in this pocket here right here and this metal piece I've been off that touches the wall of the uh, tank so when that clicks it pushes on the slug slug is supposed to move and it touches on this contact and to adjust the temperature there's a little gizmo in here that is a uh, pivot and what that does is the temperature set here that goes from 110 to 170 uh, when you turn this it's a screw so it goes in and out and the contact down in there pushes against uh, the metal piece and then adjusts the pressure that's on the uh, bimetallic thing so it actually determines the temperature so what happened on this one which is only six months old they probably used the wrong type of plastic here and so this was completely seized up on its bore and so that's why it was either intermittent or basically not running so I just decided to rip this apart just to see what's going on I've bent the contact so I've kind of cleaned up the contact here but it was all kind of burnt looking so that's why it was when I tapped it what was happening is it was just barely touching this for a second or getting stuck and if you're on a desert island I guess you could pull this apart properly and then bore this slug out and make your own little slug to put in there but it looks like they used it's weird I took it up didn't want to pull out it looks like a weird 
piece of plastic. It might even be ceramic, but it's just like looks like a dried up eraser off a pencil. It's uh, kind of weird, but it just would not it would not move in here at all. So it, since it wouldn't freely move and got stuck, that's why it got goofed up. And this, what the sad thing is, this, this uh, I know what brand this is, this Thermo Disc. This was only in there for six months, and then it got to be flaky. And uh, I don't know, they probably just wimped down and used the wrong plastic or something. But that's the old one. Just wanted to show what happened on it. And uh, the disc on here probably got, it probably got stuck once is what happened. And then it probably to where this started to arc because it wasn't completely off or on. And then that heat got through and then screwed up the plastic even more. And then it just seized up on there. It's just kind of like thermal runaway. And so it just shows the... It may have been when they molded that plastic piece, they had too much plastic water in the in the pallets, and so they got a bad batch. But I'm not sure what kind of material this is on here, but he didn't want to move at all, so that's why the it failed. Here's a diagram. You've got the switch. Here's the switch contact right here that goes back and forth. Here's this movable slug. And here's this bimetallic disc with the two sides of material. So when it gets hot, it goes through and moves back and forth. The slug should move back and forth to turn the switch on and off. And then this is the lever uh, that basically is going through and pushing on this to kind of set how much pressure is on here. And again, because this disc actually is like a, it's a spring, there is the spring the pushback on this lever is the bimetallic uh, switch itself, which this pops back is popping back and forth, turns the uh, contact on. So all the temperature set over here is doing is changing the height. When you rotate this around, that brass piece is moving up and down a little bit, and that's basically moving this like on here, and it goes through the lever and puts a different. Uh, pressure on this disc that sets the set point when that's going to turn on and off. And on this type of deal, the aluminum on the back of this, because I've bent this around, that touches the um, tank. And it should be in good contact. You just slide these in place.